Well, happy Sunday. We delve into these readings a little bit. Let's look at the prophet Amos. Amos is a hard-working man who has been called by the Lord to, be, uh, to prophesy, to prophesy in his name, to be a prophet, which we're all called to be, right? We're all called to a life of holiness and prophets, and we're all called to be prophets in our own way. It doesn't mean that we're going to solve all the problems of the world, but it means that we can be good examples, especially uh, at home or wherever, at work, wherever we find ourselves. So Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, kicked Amos out, basically, of his job. He, Amaziah, uh, he found out that Amos probably was too popular and listen, people were listening to him. He says, get out of here. We have our own prophets. I have my own team, he says. And, you know, Amos has that sense of humility. He says, you know, I was never called to be a prophet. I'm a shepherd. I'm a shepherd. I, that's how I, what I do. And I'm a dresser of sycamores. I'm a hard-working man. And yet, I do what the Lord asked me to because the Lord took me from the uh, the Lord took him from his flock and said to him, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. So therefore, Amos is doing what the Lord wants him to do. So do we do that? Do I do that? Hopefully, yes, all the time. Probably not all the time. But we are called to do what the Lord wants us to do. So you have St. Paul, his letter to the Ephesians, and it's a beautiful statement, really, of his faith, kind of a hymn of praise to God. I would encourage you, uh, since you have all the means at your phone and other ways, to read it again sometime this week. Because I'm not going to preach on the whole thing. But it, it just me it says to us, that Paul knows where he's been, where he is, and where he's going. A lot of people know where they've been. They probably know where they are, but they don't always know where they're going. Where are we going? Uh, of course you're going to brunch after Mass. But beyond that, beyond that, you're going to go to the kingdom of God. This is a, a pilgrimage. And I'm not in a hurry to get there. I love what I'm doing. I love the world. I love you all. But, you know, let's be, t let's be honest. God calls us to be his children in this life and in the world to come. And according to uh, Paul, uh, it comes down to repentance. And then in the gospel, you're getting a short homily today. Uh, Mark's gospel probably is the first one written. There's some kind of a debate between Matthew or Mark. Uh, I was always taught Mark, so since I liked my teachers at St. Minor, that's what I still hold on to. Uh, Mark basically has, he's a man of few words, which I really like. He's a man of few words, and he, does, he gets to the point right away. He doesn't mix a lot of words. He doesn't use a lot of words. He just says the facts. Just the facts, ma'am, right? And so as we come here to listen to Mark's gospel, it's the very first, if you think about it, it's the very beginning of the early church. Pentecost hasn't happened yet in these scriptures, but it's the very first uh, meeting of Jesus with the apostles. And so, if you look, if you have time, or if you read the Gospels every day, some do, some don't, uh, if you read the Gospels, the last three or four days, have, it's been Jesus talking to the apostles. Just them. No one else. He's just talking to them. He's not even talking to us. He's talking to the twelve. We can glean uh, some meaning for our own lives, but this is the beginning. And Jesus is saying to them, go out two by two. You know, the world will reject you as they will reject me, Jesus says. Go out and proclaim and preach repentance and drive out evil spirits, anoint the sick and help those who are hungry, feed the poor, all the things that we do and you do so well here at Christ the King, do those things because it is what God wants us to do. You know, it's not really uh, even a job description. It's a commandment to do what God wants us to do. And so we're called to be humble people, prophesy like Amos, and be hard workers, and just get up every day and say, God, what do you want me to do today? So 
this gospel of Mark, it's, the very, it's, it's like the very first staff meeting, if you will, of the church. You know, there were no parishes, there were no meetings, there was, there was nothing except Jesus and the twelve. But look what he's, what's happened today. Here we are, because of the twelve and Jesus.